Stace. I am back today with cards number 9 and number 10 in our card series that we are doing using the Cricut Simple Everyday Cards. Here is card number 9. Really fun graduation card. There's the inside of that one. Then we have a happy birthday card and then there's the inside of that one. I did mess up. I put that on the wrong side but you guys get the idea. Alright, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to Cricut.com slash design. You will see this screen upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you are logged in. You want to come down here and click where it says create new project. Left hand side toolbar, click on insert images. We're going to change this from all images to cartridges. In the search box, type in the word simple. And the one we want is the simple everyday card. So go ahead and click on view all images. I'm going to go to the right hand side below the funnel and click on the four squares to make the images larger. And the cards we want is the happy birthday card right there and also the graduation card right there. Bottom right, click on insert images. All right, so we have our two cards, left hand side toolbar, click on set canvas. I'm going to go down and find the one that is cards. I think either design space is going slow today or my computer, but I'm going to go ahead and click on cards anyway. All right, so we have our card canvas. I'm going to bring this card up and I want to use the left hand side of the card, line it up with the corner of the canvas piece there, and just bring it down until it fits there. I think that looks pretty good. I'll have all the sizes for this on the screen as well. Now this card is going the other way, so that on the right hand side toolbar, click where it says canvas. Underneath type, change it from bifold vertical to horizontal and you'll see the card go this way. And again, the same thing, bring the card piece up, use the arrow keys to make it fit on that canvas so we know we're working with an A2 size card. All right now I'm going to take this piece here, right click on it, choose ungroup to separate the envelope. And we have the card piece here and the piece behind it. I want my congratulations card here to be black, so I'm going to click on that piece here, go to my layers tab, you can find out where it is, it'll be highlighted. Click on the card piece and make that be a black color. The mat for the inside, I want that to be white. That's going to go behind the card there, but I do want two of them, one for the behind this part and one for the actual mat. I'm going to right click on that and choose copy, and right click on that again and choose paste. All right, so our graduation card is done, we can kind of set that one aside. Work on this one, the same thing, right click on to ungroup it, move the envelope away. Now if I move this one away, you see what happens. This part here has a score mark attached to it, so I'm going to go back and choose undo. Click on the actual bottom part of the card where it says happy birthday. Right click on that and choose detach. And you can take this piece out of the way, leaving the score mark there. But you want to take your left mouse button across the entire card piece. Right click on that again and then this time it choose attach. That puts a score mark on this piece there. Now, I do want this piece to be a blue color but I want the piece on top to be white. So I'm going to find that over here. Make that be a white color. Now there's no piece that goes behind this one because we have the piece for the front. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and choose move to front. I'm going to actually grab one of these ones because we're the same size card. I can use this piece here. I'm going to right click on it and choose copy. Right click again to choose paste. Alright, so now I have a piece here for the backing or the arm mat for that card. I'll just make this be a different color. I can find it in my layers panel, it's right here, and I'll just make that be a red color for now. Alright, top toolbar, click on go. So we have this card here, the blue card, our two envelopes, which are the same size. The red piece, um, that's going to be for my the happy birthday card here. All right, bottom right, click on go. I'm going to cut these out with the table and put our card together. All right, here is card number nine. We do our envelope first. Increase that and all the square marks. Take our bone folder. I apologize for not doing a video on Friday for our Pinterest inspired project. I had and still have such a bad headache. I don't know what is going on, but my headache will not go away. So I'm just trying to relax a little bit and get you know at least this these two videos done. 
for the, our card series. It won't fall too hard, um, far behind. All right, so we have our envelope. Now when you cut this out, save the inside pieces of that because we're going to use those pieces. So we have that. All right, so we have the white piece that's going to go on the inside. I'm actually going to take the little strip from the bottom of the word congrats right there. I'm going to glue that down on the inside of our card. Just like that there. And then take one of the graduation caps. doesn't really matter which one you choose. And grab that. I'm going to put that in the upper right. So that adds a little bit of interest to the inside of our card. We can go ahead and put this one in there. Yeah, it's one of those headaches that are in my eyes. Uh, and I, it started, I want to say Friday afternoon. I thought, oh, it'll go away. But no, nah, it just it just got worse. And then Saturday, I just slept a lot. And then today, trust me, if I can be in bed all day today, I would. Because it's just one of those headaches. All right, so now we have this piece here. And if you want to, you can just make this all black and white like that. But I wanted to bring in some of the um, blue. So we're going to take this one and we're just going to go ahead and cut this. You can make this, if you're going to give this to a graduate, you can make these colors here match the school colors. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab that same glue, the scotch glue with the dauber end and kind of just put some glue around that piece and plop that in. You just want to make sure that you don't go past the edge of the card. Other one is a little bit shorter. I think I'm actually going to use my art glitter glue for this one. All right, and put that piece around there. Let's see how that looks on the front. Looks pretty good. I have a little bit of glue glob right there, but that's okay. All right, so now we have that. Now we're going to go ahead and take another piece of blue for the bottom. And for that, I thought I had a piece of blue, and I think this piece is going to work. I'm going to bring in my trimmer. I think I'm going to cut this to, I don't know, we'll try, let's try an inch. Put the bottom right here. Oh, I think this is going to work, guys. All right, so I'm actually going to grab that dauber glue again and just go over the word congrats with that just to make this blue part stay down for us. And again, you don't want to go too far to the bottom. I think I may have another white piece here. Yeah, I did go kind of far. All right, so it's one of those days. I do apologize, guys. Let's go peel this off. So not quite an inch, okay? So a little bit shorter than that, and I'm just winging it at this point now. You want to cover the word congrats and that bar, but still leave enough room at the bottom. And let's take that glue again. Give it a quick rub here. So we're, we're barely covering the bar piece. There we go. Now we can take this guy. All right, what I'm going to do first is put some glue along this piece and just kind of dot it around these pieces so they all lay flat. And then put some glue up here too. And just take our white piece and just go around that with the glue. Okay. I'm gonna plop that one in there. I like the black and white. All right, so now we have our card is done. I'm going to take my phone folder again just to kind of squish that all down there a little bit. Okay, now we have the envelope. Now you can leave the envelope blue if you want to, but I'm actually going to glue this down here like this, I think, just to add something to the envelope. At this point, it looks like a bunch of people are just waving their hands. It's right at the bottom. with that extra glue there. Okay, so there's the envelope for that one and the card. 
Okay, so there's card number nine. Let's move on to card number 10. Alrighty, here we are at card number 10. We have our card base here. We only need one of those. And then our white piece for the inside. This is a really simple card. Well, I will say that Cricut gave me a heck of a time cutting out that happy birthday. I think I wasted about five pieces of cardstock to kind of get that. All right, so we have that. Now, to add some interest to, to this, rather than just putting like a piece of yellow here, I'm actually gonna run this through my crimper. If you don't have a crimper, you can just use your scoreboard and just put like a bunch of scores in that. And I'm doing it to where the crimps go long ways. I remember a while back when I first got my crimpers, they were really, really popular. Now it's like one of those lost things that nobody seems to use anymore. All right, I'm gonna put this on there like that. I want to flip this piece over and pop it up. This is a really simple card. And you know what, guys? I actually need to apologize. I forgot to. Um, I'm telling you, it's one of those days today. I forgot to cut out the envelope. But the envelope would have probably been in just probably the yellow color. I would have done the envelope in yellow. Or whatever color you're choosing for that color here. I just like blue and yellow together. You want to get a few of these little dimensionals in between these letters. One more should probably do it. Okay, so we have all that done. I'm just going to take the backings off. Okay. All right, set all that aside. Now make sure you're going the right way. Like I said, on my original card, I had that. I put, you know, I said one of those days today. And I do want to kind of put this on a little bit of an angle so it adds more interest to the card. I'm going to flip it over and just give it a little rub to make sure all those dimensionals are going to stick down. And there you have it. All right, really simple. There's that one and that one. There's this one done the correct way, and there's that one done not so correctly. But um, there you have it, guys. There's number 10, and then there's number 9. If um, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.